The walk-on Indians ended the district season undefeated last week with 42 to nothing a win at Union. And going back to our conversation with Chad Beerman last week, one of the things uh, you wanted to focus on was playing cleaner football in the game against uh, Jessup last week. A lot of penalties in that game. Uh, did you take a step in the right direction when it comes to that as you get ready to for postseason play last week? We did. We, we didn't have very many uh, penalties. Part of us was a little bit different crew that let a little bit, little bit more stuff go, I think. But um, but, but the motion penalties, we didn't have those. And um, yeah, we, we usually don't have personal fouls, so that wasn't a problem. Um, but yeah, in total, we didn't have very many penalties, and, and the kids did a better job keeping it clean. And that, that'll be a goal to keep going forward that way. And uh, your defense continues to shine. You pitched the shutout last week, and uh, over the last four games, uh, you've given up uh, just a grand total of 14 points. Uh, what is it about this defense that has uh, it rolling right now? Well, I mean, we, we had to break in a lot of new kids in the like the linebacker secondary core, and, and we're still uh, shuffling some of those kids around the D line as kids that have played before, and they're you know continuing to improve, and they're hard workers, and we shuffle in uh, some different kids in passing situations. But I think it's a, an experience situation where kids are just, you know, playing. We've got a uh, way to replace the whole linebacking core and half the secondary. And so those kids are just getting playing time and starting to react to stuff better. And, and uh, I mean, we've tackled fairly well, so um, the rest of the stuff's coming along. And uh, the offensive and defensive lines uh, has been a reason uh, for uh, your improvement throughout the uh, course of the season. Are they as a, uh at a level uh, where they're as uh, ready as they can be as you uh, start postseason play this week? Well, I mean, we think so. I mean, we've got, we got uh, on the offensive line, you know, uh, four seniors and a junior, and they've been together now for at least the last six games. Um, and then, uh, you know, the defensive line, so four seniors, and then we've got a sophomore that comes in, rotates in and pass rush situations. And, um and those kids are, like I said, they're, they're gelling. They, they kind of have a feel now for where the other ones are going to be. And uh, they're talking a lot better and uh, picking up things on when we're running, when we're blocking, whether it be pass uh, protections or run blocking. So um, yeah, they're as a unit, they've all improved together. So they're better than the parts are better or the whole is better than the parts, I guess. And uh, this week, it's postseason play, a uh, reasonably familiar opponent uh, with New Hampton uh, coming to town. Uh, you didn't see him in the uh, regular season uh, last year or this year, but before that, uh, you guys were pretty uh, regular competitors going back to 2012. What do you like about this year's edition of the Chickasaws? Well, they've got an outstanding tailback, and uh, they play, they played good defense. Um, you know, they were basically a yard away from being runner up in their district. So they, they dropped to the four seed, but they were really close to being the number two seed. And, and that's a, that district to the West of us was, was a tough competitive district all year long. And, um, and they they were right in it right up till the end. So uh, <clears throat> he said they, they played solid defense, but um, they really run the ball well. Uh, that tailback that gets downhill and finds any crease that's available, and then they'll mix it up with throwing game and uh, and then occasionally some some trickeration with uh, reverse passes and stuff. So um, they're uh, they'll be an interesting team to prepare for. And like I was telling the kids, some of the older coaches like myself that that are on our staff, we like seeing the I formation football it takes us back to you know that was that was the dominant offense in the you know seventies, eighties, and nineties, and and so. Uh, it's good to see it again and and uh, let a new generation experience it. And another uh, season, another uh, series of home football games, hopefully a series of home playoff football games for your program. Uh, how much of that is just a sense of pride at uh, getting the fact uh, that you can earn additional home games uh, by your play uh, throughout uh, district play, which your uh, kids were able to do once again this year? Well, that was a, an incentive that we um, – Talking about with our kids getting ready for a union, uh, you know, to finish undefeated in the district, uh, that your district record comes into play as far as uh, determining who gets to host the playoff games. And then uh, ultimately, if, if you have the same district record, it comes down to the alphabet. But um, <clears throat> that was something that we were playing for is, is to be able to potentially host right up through the quarterfinals. If, if we're still in it, um, we give ourselves the best chance of, of advancing that way. 
All right, uh, Coach, ought to be a fun ball game uh, Friday night to keep your guys healthy, and let's have another conversation next week. Best of luck. Thank thank you. Chad Beerman, head coach of the Walk-On Indians. Indians getting set to take on New Hampton Friday night.